Welcome to Tom Padula TV and uh, to program 13 of the second series of Travels with Tom Padula. In this first uh, segment, Tony and I go for a walk around Ayan and later we're going to join up with uh, Nell and Antoinette who have gone uh, shopping, of course. So enjoy the segment. We, uh, Tony and I, left um, because our wives had gone shopping. So we left about 9.30 a.m. and went into town together, walking our way to the centre of town, to IN. We walked our discovery tour of, well, to check the local culture. There are so many little activities of the local people. Their infrastructure works, the temples, or cultural centres, the greater variety of shops set up with the tourists in mind.
an architect from Poland, uh, Kazimierz Kwiatowski, uh, who was born in 1944 and died in 1997. Uh, during the 1980s, visited Vietnam and uh, specifically Ayan, and he thought this he must have been a would be such a wonderful place as a tourist attraction. And uh, he kicked off the idea that in order to help Vietnam uh, resume its place in, uh, in the modern world, then uh, tourism needed to be going back to Vietnam and uh, try to undo the damage of the war years. Thank you very much, Kazimierz Kratowski. What a great name. Tony? Huh? Okay. No, thank you. Thank you. In here already. Yeah. What a wonderful shot. Yeah. You feel it hot, but yeah. the weather is it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good going to a country where a, a stomach is appreciated. We went back to the Kwa Dai Hotel in the afternoon uh, and we had a bit of a rest and then we went out ag back again, out uh, shopping once again, uh, this time for the evening part of the shopping tour. I hope you've enjoyed this um, first uh, segment. Very interesting uh, to note that uh, a Polish architect uh, was responsible uh, for OEM developing as a tourist attraction. This program proudly sponsored by Insegna International Languages Bookshop. Mm -hmm.